Um, they got everything you can think of. You got little souvenir shops, little artist shops, tons of snack shops, tons of candy shops. Hong Yuen is famous for uh, ginger candies, and ginger they say is the uh, is a cure for travel sickness. <laughs> and then the sugar makes it go down. I have some. It's very spicy stuff. So the first time you eat it, you're like, oh god, this is really spicy, but it is delicious. This is the ginger candy. It's like a spicy candy cane. It's so good. But they even have modern things such as a VR ride. Of course, it's decked out teak wood to try to make it blend in, but it doesn't really work that well, does it? You know, I, I hate to say it, but don't buy the fruit from the little ladies on the street. They'll make you sick, and it's not that the fruit is bad, what they do is they put really, really cheap oil all over the fruit to make it shine and look fresher and healthier than it really is, and that's what will make you sick. I've seen them do it. Many of the crafts that they sell here are factory made, but there's still a, a very large amount of handmade goods here, uh, mostly from the locals who still uh, make things by hand. At night, this place just comes alive. It's a completely different environment. It is just a lot more lively. In every Chinese city or town that you go to, you have lots of people dancing at night, which is a great thing. I, I really admire that. And it's quite a sight to see. Dancing in the dark. There are a million music bars and karaoke bars. I mean, everywhere you go, there's live music. It's kind of nuts. It's like one bar after another with a live performer and no customers. <laughs> I'm sure they'll all be there by the end of the night. I mean, it's about 9 o'clock at night, but there's nobody out drinking and they're all singing to themselves. And of course, there are a ton of like nightclubs and bars that go crazy and they're very loud. The good news is, is that they all close down at midnight, so not till 2, 3, 4 in the morning. So you can actually get a good night's sleep.
get out of the uh, ancient city for uh, for dinner. You can pick your meats, your vegetables. They grill it up over there. And it's very delicious, and it's about a third the cost of what it is inside the actual city walls. So just walk, you know, about 30 meters outside past the KFC, and you come to these little barbecue joints, and you can get really good food very cheap. Because I wanted some authentic Hunan food and not pay, you know, 100 RMB for a stick of tofu. So this is phenomenal stuff. This is what makes Hunan such an amazing place to visit. The food. This guy grilled it up for me great. Thank you so much. <laughs> got the famous stilt houses behind me and the boats going by and the smell of Hunan spicy beef in the air and all the bars and all the beer in the baijiu and uh, yeah I gotta come back to this place this place is absolutely insanely beautiful and tons of 